Hey guys, I want to talk to you about Townstar. Um, I've had uh, somebody mention that they were having trouble getting a quick start off the ground. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to sell wheat and then I'm going to actually let me go ahead and start my um, in order to make lumber uh, I need a wind turbine and a uh, warehouse and a water facility okay so first of all I got by a river I was lucky to get by a river but if you really want to get started quickly that can be key to getting it done. I'm going to go around and sell all of my ponds except for that one right there. I'm going to leave it because I am most likely going to need it. I need it for the one thing is for the water facility and um, what I can do is maybe sell um, wheat one more time uh, and and then hopefully that's going to be it for the wheat but I can let the farmer continue. He's not hurting anything. Continue to gather wheat and um, and that wheat patch is not really going to be in my way. Like I said, I'm leaving this for other reasons other than just for the um, purpose of watering the wheat. Okay, so right now I've got the uh, the wind turbine. I want to put a, oh my word, I put a builder there. That's not what I meant to do. Um, I meant to put a warehouse. Uh, I don't know what, I don't know what is going on in my brain because I know better than that. Uh, hopefully that's not going to help me. I mean, hurt me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm like trying to, to do a quick start and it's panic mode is already set in in me. It, it, this is just uh, a crazy thing. Don't be out here looking. If you're in quick mode, if you're trying to get something done, um, don't make, don't pressure yourself. What I want to do is, um, I want to get a lumberjack also, uh, started so that we have enough wood to build all the things that we need. Let's see here. We are down to five wood. I need a, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the water facility prior to the worker uh, because most likely what I'll do is delete the, um, the water facility after I get Probably, I like to get a couple more dr water drums than I actually need. Maybe about 12. Because the reason why I do that is uh, I don't like the thought of, I'm going to go ahead and also start a, a worker. I don't like the thought of something happening like if I were to 
be like, oh, I want to start my script and I'm in the middle of trying to uh, make lumber and he's carrying it to the lumber mill and then the uh, when you refresh your screen it gets rid of anything that they're walking around carrying so you could potentially do something that would delete your water and then you would maybe have nine instead of ten pieces of lumber because and without you know recreating another water facility which costs you money that you may not have at the beginning of the game like this so uh, that's what we've got going on now I'm going to go ahead and start this guy and go ahead and drop in the lumber mill now we will end up deleting this and I'll end up deleting the lumber mill but for now we're trying to do uh, a quick start and um, I, I don't want to sell wheat unless it's necessary I'm actually pretty close I sold it once I'm pretty close to town 37 seconds okay so less than a minute and and I can sell it what I'll do is once I have 20 wheat I will uh, probably delete this wheat patch sorry I had to pause a minute I had a cough okay so uh, as soon as we get this going we will have uh, we will be ready to start we've already got two energy takes two energy per piece of lumber so um, we should have a energy every minute and um, this uh, worker guy is slow I would create another worker however when you're starting out in the game every dollar counts and so no not going to do that um, but if we're patient it'll pay off I know when you're starting uh, for me anyway I really get in a panic mode and that's why it's important to have a plan to have your uh, uh, idea of how you want your build to be and all that business I always map it out and then I figure out you know a couple of different spots I'm like well here's here's the spot that I want but what if I don't get it like this week I did not get uh, the spot I wanted I did not get a good spot at all so that is also always a possibility so you need to just plan for that all right so let's get this guy making some lumber and um, I don't know if if it would be better for me to um, sit here and show this the entire thing in real time or not but what I'm going to do is once he gets caught up on the wood then potentially I am going to want to uh, oh and what the goal here is to uh, 
to do grapes. That's what I feel like is the easiest and the fastest way to go. They've nerfed the price uh, quite a bit from what it used to be, but it's still, uh, in my opinion, a good way to start the game. Uh, let's see. And so, what I might end up having to do is we might want to think ahead here. What I want to do is I want to add another uh, lumberjack in order to. Oops. Well, yeah, I've got that spot and that spot. In order to expedite this uh, situation, however. At this point, there's not a need in it because we've got extra wood. The, the problem with having too many lumberjacks, like if you just go haphazard, and I'm just going to remove that because we've got 20 wheat. We could sell twice, and uh, I don't even want to sell one more time, but if I have to, I will. Um... The, if you get too much wood, then either you've got to buy another woodshed, which uh, costs money in a couple ways. One is uh, you have to put it somewhere, and two is it costs $5,000 for a woodshed. Sorry, my throat has been dry today, so I keep having to pause to... Uh, to cough and to get a drink of my water. Okay, so what we're doing now is um, thinking that we're going to want another lumberjack if this guy can get caught up on the wood. Oh goodness, what am I doing? This guy, <clears throat> let's see, we've got one lumber and nine water, and he's processing one. So we've got one extra water, that, uh, and I think that's good enough. So we're going to remove this guy, and... Now we're going to still keep waiting to see if he can get caught up here. Okay, so what I might end up needing to do is uh, add a woodshed. I could put one here. That wouldn't have interfered with that. Or I could put one here. But probably I'm going to want to grow grapes right here. So if I put it here, this would, it would probably be kind of in the way. So most likely I won't do that. Okay, we're starting to get caught up. What we can do is once we get to where um, there's no extra wood in the woodshed, then we can create another lumberjack and uh, I put it on a piece of road over here, put one right here or right here, and then uh, speed this process up a little bit. Only thing is, if we do that, I'm thinking I need to put another wind turbine to uh, to make sure that we keep up with the uh, lumber demand. So while I have 
extra wood, I think it would be uh, wise to go ahead and uh, create that wind turbine. And, you know, maybe because we're, I'm conscious of how long everything is taking and I'm trying to uh, speed up and go fast and it just seems like this is going terribly terribly slow like this uh, lumberjack should be or this uh, wind sawmill should be caught up and not have any extra wood. Maybe that lumberjack is just extra good. Uh, but anyway, now we will uh, get ahead on energy, I think. Not that we're behind, we're fine on energy, but goodness me. Glad I didn't just go ahead and start another lumberjack. Okay, so. I think once he gets these trees right around up here, um, let's see, is this one? Yeah. Uh, then he will slow down. This is working out actually pretty well. I mean, we don't need another lumberjack right now. But I would like it if they were carrying it to the lumber mill instead of the lumber mill guy having to run back and forth. So, if you're doing this at home, maybe put your lumber mill here and your uh, uh, lumberjack over here. That way, the lumber mill guy won't have as long of a run and uh, he can get caught up faster but I think we are pretty close to getting caught up now let's see what happens here
Okay, so now we are um, caught up with the uh, wood situation. So once he's made this piece of wood, I think I'm going to go ahead and start another lumber mill, hopefully. I mean a lumberjack. Hopefully this won't be a mistake, uh, but I'm going to wait until, okay, so he should have this, uh, hopefully have this made before they get picked the wood, nope, he will before that one. So this guy might put the wood here, but <clears throat> that'd be all right. Um, I wish they would leave the wood until last to see if they need it, but usually they go and try to get the wood first. But maybe since he's he's already skipped the wood and going to the other stuff. So this actually might work out pretty well. So he'll get that piece of wood. They'll both bring him wood and he'll grab the water. So what I might have to do, and we're kind of prepared to do that, we've got 10K. So what we can do is, and also we have two wheat sales that we can make if we need to. Also, uh, some people sell gas. Um, and so all those things are options, but uh, I think we're fine just doing doing what we're doing here. Um, what I might end up doing though is putting another wood shed. Uh, I'm not, I'm gonna wait and see. I'm not just gonna rush into that. Or what I can do is just drop it and not uh, activate it until I'm ready. Now, as long as I don't click off of that, I can cancel it, but I am going to click off of it because I want to see what's going on with these. Uh, well, I can see over here. There's no wood in the woodshed right now, and he's bringing the third or fourth piece of wood.
Okay, so I am just going to cancel this uh, woodshed because now we've got that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and remove this and then we need to start um, planting some grapes. Okay, so we're one, two, over. This is a safe spot uh, and it gets two water, one from this, one from this. And then this one gets one from this and one from this. One, two, over. Okay, so um, so that's a spot. And then this is obviously, this one's got four water. So it's an obvious good spot. Always keep in mind though that the this gives three pollution. Okay, so you, and this gives three shade so uh, you just want to be aware uh, of you know what's what's where and uh, and cautious a little bit cautious of where you plant things uh, not, nothing frustrates me more with myself uh, on here than making those types of mistakes okay so right now we we still have 20,000 21,000 so we are going to flush our silo and uh, we don't need that we we're going to be uh, seven and a half minutes on each set of these grapes once we get it planted so that's 15 minutes plus walk time for these guys um, and the good thing about what's happening now is we're kind of spacing them out based kind of on the walk time like for this farmer to walk down here to take care of these uh, plants is going to be what you can do is make more road out here and then some down here let me see um, so for 10 minutes it'd be 2100 for for 20 minutes it'd be 4200 so we've got plenty of uh, funds I think that we can spend a little bit of uh, cash on making these uh, paths a little bit more uh, expedient. So now he can get down here just a little bit quicker. Um, this spot and probably this spot, let's see, one, two, one, two, over. Yeah, these two spots are actually good grow spots, um, but I'm not going to be planting there for a, a while, but I, I'll just leave them open so I can remember that. Uh, and then maybe plant a couple down here. Uh, let's see, one, two, um, and then uh, let's see, what have we got? Three, four, uh, and then I don't know, maybe one, one behind it. Have two, two here, one here, and two more there. When um, I get more money to uh, to plant. So right now, I am going to pause this and give these grapes about 15 to 18 minutes to uh, to be able to have 10 grapes to sell. So I'll be back. Okay, so while I'm thinking about it, I removed uh, one of the lumberjacks, and what I'm going to do 
is get one of these much more affordable farmers to help out with the grapes to make them go a little faster. So they're still growing. I've got five grown, five more to go. I'll be back. All right, we've made our first sale. We got a little bit more money now. And so what I want to do is come right here and uh, plant some more grapes. And we can do two there. Uh, those aren't shaded by anything. This is far enough away. One, two, over. One, two, over. So those are fine. Um, I'm going to put uh, two over here. And it, again, really it, it doesn't matter so much where you put them. It's just uh, you don't want your farmer to have to walk any farther than necessary. So what I could do is extend this little road and put one over here or since I've already got these over here I could put it here. Um, I'm kind of indecided, indecisive here. Uh, I kind of like this spot I think what I'll do is I'll bring that road uh, down a little and and this is all actually you know spot dependent this is uh, shoot sorry about that this is all based on the spot that I have right here right now it's uh, that's why I feel like, one of the reasons why I feel like if you know of a spot that you really think you want, that you like, and why not go ahead and get it on the uh, monthly server and try it out. Make sure that you have a plan of action in place. And if you need to, make notes and say, okay, yeah, I'm going to going to do this first and then that and blah 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 and anyway that uh, that will keep you uh, from making so many mistakes when you're trying to rush and do it if you've already got a plan established and you write it down I like to I like to map mine out and like even color coded so I can see okay that's uh, that's going to be a power plant there and that's going to be a refinery and you know over here is going to be a pond and a, uh, beside that is going to be you know grapes or whatever but the uh, the thing that I find even my best laid plans where I've got it all mapped out everything I think I've got it figured out I still sometimes I change it uh, on the fly and sometimes it works out good and sometimes it doesn't so just be flexible but have a plan okay so we got one more uh, set of grapes maybe this wasn't a good idea maybe I should have put it over here I don't know but this will be fine um, it's just like a couple steps off the road should be anyway um, and we've already we've already got grapes coming in but uh, so actually no since we've got two grapes already uh, it, it should only be let me see three five six seven eight Okay, so seven and a half minutes from this. This is the last one that he planted before that. So, uh, the thing with having ten like this, which is what I like to try to do, and you don't have to do it this way. If you 
feel like it's faster to just let the lumber mill create five of them and then just you know do it that way but I feel like this is the fastest way just go ahead and create ten pieces of lumber now I've got ten grapes so every seven and a half minutes I'll be selling grapes and then I can um, start either there there's a couple of things that we can do here but one thing is uh, that I, I like to do anyway is figure out like look at look at both sides of this like this has got like a lot of trees and what I want to do is this is my only source of water so I want to to do my uh, refinery and whatnot as far away so I can I can actually start it back here on this or usually I do it on the sides for whatever reason I don't know I'm having trouble clicking these uh, things I think I, yeah I'm still within my grid here um, so I can I can actually do it in this area uh, which would be would be fine so if I do that and I do a uh, what I like to do is like have the power plant here and have a refinery here so that they they share uh, a paved road and then I can also put my uh, if you've seen some of my other videos you've probably seen that plan so that would um, be I need to get rid of that but that mean the power plant would be here so that's one stump and then water pump would be here and so my pond would be here so uh, in order to kind of get this thing going I'm probably going to have to get rid of about four, maybe five stumps and maybe six before it's all over. Um, so that's something, that's why, that's the drawback to starting with the, uh, with the forest. What I can do though is start more up in this area and then I can uh, have more I can have fewer trees to get rid of but I, I like it to be uh, along the the edge because it's then the pollution only goes one way uh, but it, it's probably going to be far enough away that that it won't matter either way. But this is how I want to do it. I want to start it back here. So if I have a power plant, this will be a paved road. That will be a refinery. This will be a water pump, a pond, another water pump, another power plant, a refinery, and a uh, and probably do my lumber mill right here okay but I could do the the lumber mill here and put the refinery back here um, which if you're trying to get started quick that might be the best thing is to do your plan to do your uh, lumber mill actually first right so um, what did we say we said that the pond would be here and then we'll have a water uh, water pump here and then we'll have the uh, the power plant right in front of that and we will have the lumber mill here and then this would can be a uh, paved road uh, for the power plant so what I will do is when I have enough money I'll go ahead and start on this so we're talking 24 upon 50 for a 
uh, water pump and then another 50 for the uh, lumber mill. Then I can't make the power plant until I have the five pieces of lumber from this lumber mill. And so um, for, the, for the power plant, we're going to have 10K for the paved road piece and 100 for the power plant. And then what we can do is if we need to uh, create the, uh, the one refinery first, we can do that. And then maybe uh, create the other uh, water pump. It's easier to run, in my opinion, run these refineries on... Uh, with having the water and just letting them get the energy that way you don't have to manage water and energy going what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and flush this because I'm sure I'm not going to need that water and start over collecting the energy now I know you noticed that I had a wind turbine over here at one time and this was full up so there wasn't really any point in uh, running the two and I was planning to make my gas over here uh, so I've removed that it's not going to matter it's going to be a while before we need that uh, energy that we're going to do we're not going to need it until we start making lumber uh, so and we just established we got 20k for that 50k for that and another 50k so uh, you notice we're just about out of money uh, we're about to sell though but it's going to be a few minutes so I'm going to uh, let some money accumulate and um, those are the plans for our money and I'll come back in a few minutes and show you okay guys I have now I uh, got this set up and I've got my <coughs> system ready to put my lumber mill here. Once I get the lumber mill built, I can make some lumber and uh, sprinkle some more grape uh, plants around. But one thing that that you need to be aware of is if I wanted to shortcut this. This cost me 20 and 50 plus I think I had to remove at least one stump. Okay, so that's another 15 at least. So that's uh, 35, 85,000. What I could have done is just put, figured out where I wanted to put my lumber mill, dropped it in, and then I could uh, create another water facility which uh, I just have to put it somewhere where it can get three water. In this case like something like that as long as I put a piece of road by it it's fine uh, or let it use the well to water itself. If I did that then I could have just used that to make more lumber and then utilized the lumber to plant more grapes. So actually I'm taking longer than really, uh, than I have to, uh, but, but that's just the way I like to do it. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. Just keep that in mind. You can make it faster by, by don't do this, just create your lumber mill, create a water facility. If I had done that, then that would be a little bit cheaper than this. So I would have had enough money to do both of those and I could be making the lumber right now and not have to wait for um, a couple more sales. So uh, just keep that in mind. Okay guys, what 
I have done is I have uh, paused the gas build out to actually uh, create more lumber that let, allowed me to plant more grapevines. Now I have uh, 20 grapevines. That's uh, that will allow me to sell grapes roughly about every probably four minutes would be uh, the best guess but also I had to uh, add a couple more farmers I could probably use more than what I have but for now that's fine and here's the thing as I was uh, making taking and making the lumber for all these uh, grapevines it takes one piece of lumber of course per vine uh, I had to pause and let allow the um, farmers to be able to get some wood so that I could to keep the grapes going you know you you don't want to just use up all the wood and and leave your grapes high and dry you got to in order to be able to sell grapes you got to put the wood on there to do it obviously and so um there's that part of it now i could keep going however you notice i i just put a couple of of trees back here um so that I wouldn't be, you know, totally out of wood, but but that's not a good permanent tree solution. So, in my opinion, uh, you know, whether or not you did this part, if you just if you just took that and you um, made a water uh, facility over here somewhere, maybe remove the well and put it there or whatever. If you had the water facility going and and use the uh, this and just you know got your energy from there, um, that'd be fine and all. But at this point, I believe that you're still going to have to build out something uh, as far as you you need to start building out your. Um, area for making wood and so in my opinion once you get this far if you notice we still got 25 gas okay but I feel like that it works out better for me if I go ahead and finish out the electric part and the part of, of making gasoline get that done out of the way and then from there move on to uh, you know once it's self-sustaining then you can move on to the part where you set up um, uh, making trees and probably in this case what I do if I want to keep my uh, lumber mill here and not, you know, make another one somewhere else, I do my trees up this way and make it where, you know, maybe up come up this road to get to the lumber mill and and have trees up to maybe this point. Um, what I can do is. Uh, I don't know that I want to necessarily continue this build so what I can show you is my daughter has um, uh, made a build and all that she has done right now is set it up for grapes so I can show you what she's got she actually got uh, a better spot than I did in the um, 
in the weekly competition yesterday. So let me pause this and uh, come right back with her um, her spot and what she's got. Like I say, she hasn't really built it out. She's just now uh, finished because of her work schedule being screwy. Um, it she just hasn't gotten around to it. So let me show you what she's got. I'll be right back. Alright guys, um, and she hasn't, she didn't finish getting this set up for grapes until today. She barely had anything on here uh, yesterday. I don't, I, I guess she had it, uh, had a boat and was doing the selling 10 at a time, I think. And today she has set this up for uh, selling 100 at a time. Uh, but she does, she has somehow, even though she had not had this going long, she has accumulated some money. And uh, I, I think she, I, I think she meant to delete these uh, and to delete this because these are, if not, she'll probably get, get on my butt, but that'd be all right. I'm the mom, right? Okay, so anyway, uh, I think that those were shading her uh, grapes um, and, and let me uh, put this on high resolution she puts it on low resolution somebody posted on the uh, uh, what do you call it uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, the Good grief. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I can't think all of a sudden. It's um, the chat thing. Um, anyway, they posted on there that uh, you can, uh, and I don't know if she's going to put any more of these. She probably should. That you can put it on low resolution and then just like pick a spot where, like, come over here. And just like zoom down maybe not that spot but anyway uh, pick a spot maybe like over here and then zoom down so uh, so that nothing is showing on your page with movement like right right like this and then they say that you get that your town goes faster. It's called Discord. I'm sorry. It finally came to me. Uh, uh, Discord. And so anyway, this is this is what you would end up possibly building from what I was just showing you. You just, once you get your gas production, she built hers in the corner, kind of like what I do. Uh, pretty much the same setup. It's, well, um, yeah, this was this was exactly what what I set up, except for we had it where that was going to be the uh, the lumber mill here, and then the other refinery right here. Okay, so it, it very much uh, the same, and so. If you get that set up real quick and just let this, if you get it set up before you go to bed, let this run like this. Like if you can get five silos so you can get a hundred grapes, get a freight pier and let that um, set oh, or let it run overnight. Um, I deleted her warehouse so she probably don't need that I'm just gonna turn that off if she you know I don't want to really make her mad and, and her tell me I can't get on her account to make videos anymore uh, but um, this would be you know ideal to let it run overnight uh, and make some money. She's only got how many? Four, uh, 
four, five loggers, okay, and uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven tractors, and uh, sorry about that. And it is costing her four from where she is. Let's see, where is she? Oh, look at that. She's right right by number one over here. Uh, she's right here. So she got, I felt like she got a, be a much better spot than me. She's right here, and that's the town. And I am, let me think of where I am. I'm all the way over here. And this is the town that I have to go to right here. It cost me two, uh, I, I don't know if it costs one or two gas. I have the Express Depot now because I joined the, the Gala Gold. And so they give you an Express Depot. So if you can afford to do that, I would do it. I don't know exactly the price of it, but I think it's about 20 or 25 dollars or something. But anyway, um, and here's the thing somebody, I think I saw something where somebody posted about the Express Depot where it only gives you, like, um, I mean, that it's just a little faster, that it doesn't give you a break on the gas. That can be true, but here's the thing. If it if you pick a spot that would take like say three minutes to drive to, if it cuts your time down to two and a half minutes and that happens to be the difference between spending one gas or two gas for the, the longer trip, then it will cut your gas Consum or consumption down by one. So it's up to you. If you can afford it, I would recommend it. If you can't afford it, then you know, do the best you can. Uh, but anyway, so this is what I would say, and she's got four gas pumps going and seems to be able to keep up with the amount of gas. Um, she's, uh, I don't know how many grape vines this is um but i would say it's probably uh, about a hundred uh if i had to guess and so uh, and she could put more uh more wood uh lumber yards in here that would if i were doing it that's what i would do i would you know sort of recommend that but this is probably a temporary build to make money and then go on to something else and I, I don't know if I told you where she is she's 198 and they're paying out this week and next week the top 200 so if she can stay in the top 200 she'll she'll be fine that's all that you need to worry about uh, so anyway um, that's kind of it for a quick start and that's to me if you like I say if you get this far you get this set up before you go to bed and let it run overnight then the next day you'll be able to um, and, and this is not bad points it's not horrible uh, and then the next day you'll be able to uh, set up whatever town like I, I've showed videos where start with grapes and then set something else up and that's what you could do here and if you set up something where you're going to need farmers you've already got farmers and you got a few loggers to set up so you know uh, the setup from going from this into a real build is not um, not a terrible thing if you weren't, if you were not going to do a real build and you just wanted to do grapes, you could delete this. You can 
make uh, like five more pieces of lumber and maybe put a, a logger or a tractor over there if you if you felt like you needed to. Um, of course you would have to do that before you deleted your warehouse <laughs> like I did on hers already but uh, but anyway I'm just rambling now. Um, you get the idea and so uh, if you don't have uh, like two uh, sides of the water like on that one side that I was saying that I would just come up this is it. I'd come up like this and just have a road that, that leads on up to the um, the lumber mill um, and that way, that way to me works better you gotta be able to have sort of a direct path from your trees up to your lumber mill if you're gonna make any lumber to amount to anything so I hope this was helpful and informative if it was like share and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video thanks for watching